in the story of the documentary, hopefully I'm not giving away too much, but um, partway through, there's a bit of almost a scandal where the manuscript is misplaced and there's a bit of a kind of search as to where it is and who's got hold of it. It all sounded a bit suspicious, if I'm honest, what was going on, or do you think it was an honest mistake? What is your personal thoughts on that with the manuscript? Well, a manuscript, well, it doesn't go missing from any place. If it has gone missing and after filing a legal notice, they got it back. So that means it was not missing. So that's a different kind of missing. So I felt really sad about that. And uh, because this is what, he doesn't deserve that after doing all this. But still, I didn't my opinion on that in the film. I just presented as it. As it is. Clearly, I just have a suspicious mind, I think, London. I I'm wonder happy why that you were suspicious. Huh, but I wonder why you didn't make a bigger deal of it. Like, if this was a Netflix documentary, which it's definitely not, but that would have been the, the story arc, I would have thought, from the beginning. Man's life work disappeared. What's going on? Why did you not choose to, to really shine a light on that? You just, you know, subtly put it in at the end. Because uh, I thought that we have been seeing a lot of uh, TV documentaries lately and we've been seeing a lot of new uh, documentaries lately. So I wanted this to be the old style documentary and I just love those kind of documentaries. And, and, uh, most of the, and this person was 83 years old and he's almost, uh, most of the time he's confined in his house. He's not going anywhere. So the camera, the pace of the camera and everything is set to the main character's pace. So he's not moving much. He's just talking. So we're just listening.